Hey guys, it's Full Cuts here, live and direct from Montreal, Quebec, and in front of me today, I have a box of 2021-22 OPG Hockey Hobby to break down in Punjabi. I, I don't speak Punjabi. I speak four languages, not Punjabi. Um, and I don't know if you guys are watching the news, but I mean, I can't even watch American news. There's no two sides to the truth, um, to objectivity. It, it's it's about one thing, there's Stalinism going on. It's Stalinism. I, I don't know if anybody's familiar with what happened in, during World War II. You don't have to necessarily be Jewish or Russian or both to understand what's going on, but it's not good, guys. And it should not be seen through the prism of domestic politics. It is something that's very, very serious and very sad, and it's gonna be a massive humanitarian crisis. And I say it's because I work in international affairs, as some of you know. So I'm really, 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 really concerned um, and I hate the kindergarten um, news in the U.S. on this. I'm sorry, but it really is bad in terms of how they're reporting this stuff. And sorry, guys, I don't want to be talking politics on any level whatsoever, but this is not about politics. Again, it's about peace, security, stability in the world uh, and the humanitarian crisis that's about to happen and should bring us together and not drive us apart. In fact, all of NATO is completely aligned on what's going on. But anyways, uh, I will be breaking a box of 2000-2001 Upper Deck uh, Series 1, so stay tuned for that, and let's get on with the break. All right, guys, configuration, 10 cards per pack, 18 packs per box, do that math, 180 cards, base set always 1 through 500, and then you have the high series short prints, which are the marquee rookies and the rookie season reviews and the team checklist and league leaders and season highlights up to 600. And there's parallels, the blue borders, the red borders, and the young green borders, the printing plates, one one the retros, which I guess are variations, retro black borders, retro printing plates. So guys, within a box break, expect one rare chase card, two numbered parallels, seven additional base parallels, 18 base retros, four OPG playing cards, four OPG uh, premier tall boys. There's always groupings for those things as well, so keep in mind that. And the key thing about this product is it does have Easter eggs, which is amazing, which are the unannounced cards. There's the OPG Premier Full Size, there's the OPG Platinum pre uh, Previews, so Platinum Previews, and the 3D Marquee Rookies, including um, Redemptions. And so again, expect some groupings, expect manufactured patches on occasion, expect top rookie puzzle bounties on occasion, so all kinds of good stuff, guys. And if you're wondering who the 3D marquee rookies would be, um, they would be the Cole Caulfield, the Jeremy Swayman, uh, Valeno, Byfield, Zegris. Um, the redemptions of those would be the Raymond Sider, Pod Coles and Perfetti, Eklund, and Tomasino. So there you go, guys. Let's rip it. I'm not going to do a comprehensive edit on this this time because I'm just going to get it out there into the ether as fast as I can. I'm also busy these days, guys, so keep that in mind as well. I don't have a, that much time in my hands to be doing this type of stuff. So we got three across, which is very Team Canada Juniors, and it's got this sort of um, granite slate look to it this year, which is interesting. So let's just rummage and roll and bark our way through uh, these Barkovs, no, the Orlovs. Uh, let's go, guys, let's do it. So here we go, um, really nice looking cards this year. I think it's a pretty clean, nice design this year. Uh, so we have the Orlov, we have the Olmark, we have the Connor Ingram, which is not Connor Ingram. Um, Connor Ingram's a goaltender, so this is certainly not, um, that's, um, that's Matt Duchesne. That is, isn't that Matt Duchesne? That is so weird, what the hell? I, I'm completely lost. So, but on the back, they do have uh, Connor Ingram's, um, <laughs> that's, these are T Connor Ingram's stats. That's Matt Duchesne. Uh, Matt Dumba. And so this would be the retros. These retros, I think, are somewhat like some of the cards from the 1960-61 um, Topps cards, which are one of my favorite uh, sets in the hobby. So that's what these are like. Uh, Lars Eller, this in particular is like, I think the um, legend cards from that set. Lars Eller Blue Border, as well as uh, Grunstrom, Kraus, Matt Roy, Grimaldi, and Yanni Gord in his old uniform. So that really threw me off, that first pack. Absolutely threw me off. Okay, Anthony Duclair, Heskinen, Adam Fox, uh, Rasmus Kupari. So this would be one of the marquee rookies, our first marquee rookie. And the team checklist, so a short print of the retros. And here's our first playing card. And it's none other than Marner, which is amazing. Really, really cool. I'm wondering, who do you think he should be? He should be like a heart, not a diamond. I think Marc-Andre Fleury has to be a heart, should be a heart. Uh, I do like that they have red backs. That's very cool. Marlowe, Myers, 
uh, Dridger, and Ian Mitchell. I'm gonna try to scroll through these as quickly as possible to alleviate our pain because it's just such a big set, guys. A Kurashev, Foligno, Binnington, another team checklist. This is a base checklist. There's a Patty Marlowe retro, Jeff Petrie, Blue, Shattenkirk, uh, Bemstrom, P.K. Subban, and Patrick Maroon. So keep an eye out. Uh, in OPG, you do on occasion find blank packs. Uh, Texier, Dumoulin, Sveshnikov, who's had a great second uh, half, or second third to a season. Second third to a season. Johnny Goudreau. Uh, there's the Nate McKinnon. So I assume this is a decent grouping for this. It's P4. The Nate Tallboy, Ryan Ellis, Justin Hall, McAvoy, Eric Robinson, and Tanev. So that Nate Tallboy is a base Tallboy, not one of the short prints. Uh, the rookies are short prints, and then they have super short prints, which are prior, probably higher series uh, within those. Lars Eller, Kemper, Larkin, old uniform, of course. Uh, Marky Rookie of Matthias uh, Samuelson, as well as the Brent Burns Retro, Blue of Zakharensky, Jason Robertson, one of my favorites. Ottinger, Edinger, who's having an amazing, an amazing campaign, Burns and Scandella. All right, Zuccarilla, another one of my favorites, Lynn Blom, uh, Team Checklist, a Gustafsson Winnipeg Retro, and we hit the Mark Shifley, uh, who's also had a nice second third to a season, uh, Giordano, Clifford, Line, who's gone bonkers, Goudreau and Suter. Man, has Line found his game? He's looking elite beyond recognition. And it only started about 10 games ago. He's just going off at this point. Uh, Lankin and Kerfoot, uh, who might be involved in, I guess, trades, deadline trades. We'll see. Gurianov, Justin Schultz, uh, Edmondson, DeKaiser, Fast, Varlamov, Gostisbeer, and Carlson. Uh, really fun product, bargain basement, a very tactile experience because of the differences in the cards, uh, all kinds of nods to the history of the game, and really deep checklists. Kane, Meyer, Vetrano, Gerard, Gerard's having a bad year, uh, Joey Keane, as well as the Tyson Barry League Leaders Retro, and there's the Patrice Bergeron, um, uh, Tallboy, Max Domi, also involved in trade rumors, Comper and Marino, and Bergeron again is a base um, tall boy, you guys know when the tall boys sort of bounce back to. Of course, they're reminiscent of the cards from the 60s, uh, 64, 65, that era, I guess. Uh, Uyghur, Graves, and there's a the Tyson Barry League Leaders, as well as the Carl Gr Grunstrom Kings Retro, Team Checklist Blue, Tippett, Marcus Foligno, Konechny, Slavin, Slavin who'll get some action now that D'Angelo's out, and Bjorkstrand. When I say action, I mean action on the on power play one. Continuing on, uh, Gardner, Ty Smith, Rust, Checklist. There's the line A uh, retro, as well as a uh, Nico Heischer. He's actually coming alive as well. Uh, Card, Joey, um, Josh Anderson, another guy. That line is going off as well in Montreal. And Sakara and Alexiak, Zadorov, Checklist, the Tanev Flames, uh, Retro, Cahoon Blue, uh, Capo Caco, Zach Parise, Wenberg, Leonard, and Pierre Engvall. So we even have Engvall up in the mix, which is nice. When you have 600 cards in your checklist, you get some pretty obscure names. Not that Engvall's obscure to any of you guys. Uh, Nick Paul, Backstrom, uh, Gavrikov. Oh my God. Look at this pasta highlight. So this is, that's kind of cool. It's like an outdoor game. I, I just love this card. It's so cool looking. Uh, I follow. Oh, nice. So we hit the Austin Matthews. Again, I think it's just a base one tall boy. Appleton, Mayfield, Rasmus Anderson, who's been on the tear as well, as well as Brodeen. Although Vancouver absolutely annihilated um, Calgary last night. Um, Chandler Stevenson, Haglin, Arvidsson, a Logan Thompson marquee rookie. I actually like him. He looked good in that game he played the other day. Uh, Joey Keane marquee rookie retro. And there's the Carey Price uh, tall boy. And this again is a base tall boy. They're all the base tall boys. There's Marc-Andre Fleury. Man, everybody's in their old gear. Bellamar, uh, Sebastian Aho, and Alex Glorn. Oh, there's our green. So we hit a green. Uh, Tyler Sagan, Fogel, Clutterbuck, Cal Clutterbuck, and other guys have been in all kinds of trade rumors. 
and the Islanders of Scott Mayfield, which is a retro. And we had the Rasmus Dahlin. And so let's see, so it's number to 50. Isn't that nice that these, these bad boys are numbered, the neon greens, number to 50. It's a good color, I like it. Uh, Nylander Horvat, Horvat had a great night the other night. And Pearson. Oh, you know what guys, we hit, <laughs> we actually hit, I think that these must be case hits. We hit one of the, uh, what are they, trophies or whatever, the patches, manufactured patches, which are like the key hits within this product. <clears throat> so let's see who it is, um, uh, other than the unannounced. Nico Heischer, Vasilevsky, Jordan Eberle, uh, Delorier, as well as the Jake Ottinger Retro. I love Jake Ottinger. Um, and let's see what this card is. Really curious as to what this will be. And, because it, I mean, it's a thickage, right? So it's gotta be something. Uh, and it says lightning. Well, that bodes well. So let's see who it is and what it is. It has to be a trophy winner. So could it be Hedman? Who would it be? Uh, no. Oh my God. It's a Lady Bing of Marty St. Louis. How topical is that? That is really cool. The coach of the Montreal Canadiens, Pac Fresh. That is beautiful. So we hit P37 trophy winner. So this would be a Lady Bing from the 2010-11 season. That's very cool. It's very nice to hit one of these. I love these things. So those uh, Lady Bings, I think Stanley Cups are the most rare or the rarest. Uh, the Lady Bings are one in 960. So that would be, I guess, just under a 2% opportunity uh, to hit that. So it's like a case hit. That is really cool. Very, very happy with that. Uh, there's a black, there's a black. A Goligoski, Matt Murray, David Perron, Drew Doughty, there's Patches, who's starting to come alive again. Blackwood, Sean Couturier, who's been injured. Uh, Lane Peterson. And we have the Patrick Maroon. Patrick Maroon, who's a shizzle disturber. As well as one of these, so we hit the Blacks, uh, and it's Andrew Kopp, and these are typically number two, 100 on your radio dial. So there you go, 100. All right, guys, last two packs. And we have a Clayton Keller, a Cunin, a Barkov, a Bushnevich, a uh, seven year season. And there is the season review of Neil uh, Hoaglander, and that uh, would be a high series card, 543. There's Jack Campbell, who's been inconsistent, although after a pretty decent start. There's Mark Stone, he's been injured with back issues. Ryan Strom, Sezikis, and Bobby Ryan. Last pack, really nice to hit a patch. Those are always a welcome. Oh, one of the red borders. I think these are tough pulls as well. Um, so we have a Paul Byron, uh, Tom Wilson, Barzell, Mitch Marner, Morrissey, Nick Ritchie, uh, Stutzla, uh, who's starting to also show all his gleaming flashes, Anders Lee, uh, Retro, and we, oh my God. <laughs> we hit the Nazem Kadri red border. Uh, really interesting. And the Matt Greslick, uh, who's usually very injured. And these red borders are one per box. They're one in 18, so one per box. And we hit the Kadri, who, you know, I can't vouch for the guy because you know how I feel about him. But on the other hand, I do have him in two of my fantasy teams this year, and he's just been absolutely off the chain good. Uh, power to him for, you know, playing some good hockey. There you go, guys. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, awesome box of this stuff. If you're wondering what my recap is, this is my recap. My recap is the fact that it's a fun pile of cards for a tactile, um, interactive experience with kids whereby they'll be steeped with every player on every line and with many different shapes and sizes, including uh, my man, Mitch Marner, who I adore in playing card format. Isn't that cool? We had a patch in the box. I mean, just good stuff all around. Um, just a nod to the history of the hobby with the tall boys. Just good, 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 good stuff. Uh, makes me want to invade Finland. Um, I'm not going to invade Finland, guys. Not not today. So that's basically it, guys. And please do me the honor of subbing. Uh, I know 60% of you guys aren't subbed. And I know the YouTube algorithms will bury my old school take on the hobby um, because I'm not a millennial and I don't create drama and do all the things you have to do uh, and focus on gambling. So please do me the honor of um, subbing. I'm gonna be full cards, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Wait a second, I'm in Montreal, I'm not in Brooklyn. 